Okay, we're, we're now I got to ask you something. And we're talking to Steve Pugh from ComputerRankings.com. Uh, do you have a regular job, Steve? Yes, I do. I work uh, at a financial services institution in the IT department. How do you find time to do this? I mean, you're, you got <laughs> how do you how does a human being find time to rank the? I don't even look at how many total colleges you have ranked here, um, and you know, rank do all this and simulate games and how how do you have time to do? Or does it take that much time? That's a great question. I, I get that a lot too, and uh, I, I've got a little seven-year-old daughter too, and she's the most important thing to me right. in my life. So she she beca- she obviously is a higher priority than this. Right. Um, but I'd say I've got this down pretty much to a science where uh, I spend more time on the website maintenance itself than I do generating the the rankings. I'd so, say I probably invest somewhere between a half an hour and an hour a day on average. That's it, and that's about it. And you've yeah. got you've got NBA, Major League Baseball, NHL, NASCAR ratings. Uh, yeah, that, and, that one's been getting a ton of hits lately too. I know I'm nothing really about, about that. It's a whole different algorithm used to to compute those NASCAR rankings and. Personally, I think they're better than what the uh, what NASCAR publishes for their Sprint Cup. Well, I know uh, nothing about NASCAR, so tell me. Like, I'm going to click on here and see NASCAR, and I'll check your your rank. Says the number one driver is Kyle Busch. Is that match with the uh, with um, what the whatever the official one is? Yeah, right now it actually does. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Kyle Busch is the only guy that's won four races, so it kind of makes sense. And he's yeah. had like 15 top 10 finishes. But I think with the what the NASCAR Sprint Cup points look at the actual point standings, it looks at how many laps did they lead in a given race. You know, where did they start in the pole, uh, and their their number of top ten, top five finishes, and their number of wins. But what I look at is, okay, if Kyle Busch finished, let's say, twenty third in a given race, who were all the people that he actually beat in that race? Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it's his ranking is relative to the ranking of the people that he beat versus the ranking of the people who beat him in that particular race. Okay. And that's something that really requires an advanced mathematical model to do. And I don't, I don't see that in the Sprint Cup point standings that NASCAR produces. Now, you have NHL rankings uh, as of Sunday, June 5th, so uh, 2011. So you haven't done anything with them since the, since the uh, season ended, since the Stanley Cup final was over? That's right. But you have Vancouver ranked number one, San Jose two. Did you have Boston, the team that won the Stanley Cup, is ranked fifth right now? How's yeah, that, that's how's because that they, uh, and and that happens a lot actually in in sports where there's thirty, thirty two teams like that. Yeah, uh, it's really that that uh, Vancouver just trucked along the entire season. I think they were ranked number one most of the season. Uh, I've got a little pie chart over here that says they've been ranked in the top five longer than more than any other team since I've been publishing NHL rankings. Uh, but really, that's what it is. They had such a strong season and then just kind of choked there in the end. And although Boston was able to pull it out, uh, they I do not weight my rankings towards the end of the season to count late games, uh, make them count more. Now, you suggested uh, to, that people don't use this for, for gambling. Uh, are you a betting man? Uh not really. Uh, when I head down to uh, to my hometown, usually somebody will put a parlay card in my hand, and and I like to play that about once, you know, a football season. But that's about it. Yeah. So you you would, but would you if you were going to go to Las Vegas with somebody said to you, here's a hundred thousand um, bucks, go out to the uh, go out and bet, bet. I want you to bet the NFL for me for the next uh, two three weeks. Would you be confident to use your system, or would you still be using your gut if you were going to like you were. You had to bet somebody. Would you feel confident with your system that you'd, you'd come out ahead using it? Uh, that's a great question. I, I'll tell you what I did. Last year during the bowl seasons, I think there's, what, 34, 35 bowl games? Yeah. I, uh, I, 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 I used my computer rankings to basically uh, produce who would win those games. And then I went back and looked at each one and said, nah, I don't think. I, I personally think this team's going to win. Mm-hmm. And so I measured my personal picks against my computer picks, and uh, I think I think I was beaten by six games. So my wow. computer outpicked me by six games out of thirty-four. Wow! And um, how how I, I I don't know enough about computers to even know what to, how to ask you how this works. But um, you 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 develop a program and then you just plug numbers into it and it spits out rankings. 
Now, I mean, pretty much. It, it's wins and losses. So it's the actual uh, team, the the team scores uh-huh. is the only input that I have. Uh, and so that, that kind of raises the question a lot of times, well, what about strength of schedule? Well, that's implicitly included in this type of model, uh, the type of algorithm that I've written. You don't really need to to compute the strength of schedule, it's already included just by virtue of having all the, the game scores. All right, I'm going to ask you one final question here, and I, I don't know if it's, it's a fair one. I don't know if you have this information at hand, but uh, how, does your, how does, did your pre-season 2010 uh, top 10 compare to the actual finish of the top 10 last year? Um, let's see. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't have that uh, readily available. But I will say there's a there's a website called Stassen dot com which uh-huh. uh, ranks uh, conference predictions uh, for about I think it's 17 publications. It includes Phil Steele, I'm sure you've heard yeah. of him, yeah. Lindy's, Athlon, Sports Illustrated, uh, and a handful of others. A lot of them big names. You know, I'm I'm unheard of compared to them. In 2009, though, I outpredicted all of those. I finished that uh, number one in 2009. Wow! At the end of the season, in terms of who was who most accurately predicted the conference finish across all the conferences. Last year, however, I finished I think ninth out of 17, uh, and Phil Steele beat me by half a point last year. But I mean, just to give, I know that guy gets a lot of a lot of credit, and it's certainly deservingly so. But I'm just trying to to uh, help gauge where my rankings, I think, stack up with some of the other better-known competition out there. Well, I'm looking for Maine on here. But, uh, still, uh, Pitt Place Buffalo, they're ranked 111, and I don't see Maine yet. They're not below – they're above Buffalo. But Akron, which is a favorite opponent for Penn State and Pitt, is 120 right now. Oh, that's right. Maine, Maine's not Division One. They're Division One a or whatever they call it now. So, But we do know that they're playing the 111th-ranked team in the nation to open the season. Uh, that finished two and ten last year, so That's right. they got that going for them. And Kent State will take their 104th ranked team down there to play Alabama. That should be that should be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, oh my I think God. Uh, I'm, I'm predicting uh, maybe a field goal by Kent State, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I uh, that's could I if would I be able to put in a uh, simulated game between Penn State, Kent State, and Alabama? Oh, absolutely. Can you put one in? You can probably do it faster than I can. You got yeah. You, 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 are you sitting in front of your computer? Yeah, let me stick it in there. <laughs> what the hell? Kent State, Alabama. Let's, that's, that's my favorite game of the year so far. I went and to that's Kent. being played at Alabama, yeah. obviously. I went to Kent I State. So. I don't think uh, Alabama would head to Kent State. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, what I'm coming up with is 37-2. to two. Um, <laughs> I like the two. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, I don't know Kent if Kent State State's gets, really going to get a safety no, out of this deal or not. But. No, Kent State gets an early safety, takes a two nothing lead, <laughs> and then Alabama scores thirty seven un- unanswered points. That's you, funny. you never know; it could happen. There's so much rust that first game of the season. So I'm going to go with seventy four to two. I mean, I I, I don't know. I, I you know I I know your computer's probably going to be more accurate than I am, but I'm I'm going to be a little bit. I'm not going to be quite as kind to Kent State as your computer was. <laughs> I'm going to go with 74 to two. That's a good score. I hope that that that'd be a good one. A two makes it sound even. That's even worse than nothing. <clears throat> yeah, I, I will say most of these ranking systems, mine included, uh, do try to factor out when people run up the score. Mm-hmm. So by doing that, we can more accurately determine whether or not someone is going to beat the Vegas line. So I think the line on that game probably is around mm, 35 points. I want to say yeah. something like that. I haven't checked. <clears throat> Well, it's fun. Uh, uh, it's it's fun to do. That's uh, it, so. Anybody wants to go on the on the uh, to check this out? It's computer ratings, and the pew and p- computer is P U G H instead of just P U because it's Steve Pew who uh, runs the site. <clears throat> Steve, I really appreciate you being here. I'm going to keep this in mind and check it out during the season. I, I like these. Uh, <clears throat> I like these simulated games. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe later on I'm going to simulate a game between uh, Oklahoma. And uh, Akron, that's uh, number one against number 120. I think that would be an interesting game. <laughs> See what kind of score we come up with. I, I really appreciate you being here. Good luck with us. A lot of fun. Hey, thanks a bunch. I really appreciate you having me on. Okay. That's Steve Pugh of com.